It was a night of glitz and glamour, and in the words of the Prime Minister, the night also served as testimony of the growth of this country. On Friday evening, the Prime Minister hosted the U.S. National Symphony Orchestra at the Diplomatic Centre with U.S. Ambassador, CARICOM Prime Ministers, and some of the country's most familiar faces in politics and public life in attendance, the Prime Minister took charge of the festivities. According to Prime Minister Kamala Pasad Basesa, the visit of the U.S. National Symphony is not merely for entertainment, but marks a big part in the 50th Independence Anniversary celebrations. She explains that three years before TNT gained independence from Britain, the symphony visited and saw firsthand the nation's struggle for independence. Decades later, the symphony has returned to celebrate a historic milestone. Today, we assemble here, together, celebrating our golden jubilee of independence as a sovereign nation. We are celebrating 50 years of self-determination, of growth and progress, of a continuously changing and evolving social dynamic where we held firmly to our diverse heritage and history. The Prime Minister says the symphony may also play a big part in the development of arts and culture in this country. The launch of a national registry for artists and culture workers, which has been networked to support development through free movement within the region and outside of the region. Your visit, sir, has actually provided us with a chance to capitalize on this approach through cooperation with the USA, and I'm therefore delighted to note that cultural exchanges will emerge out of your presence here in Trinidad and Tobago. The U.S. National Symphony has been in existence since 1931, and it's played its musical talents at the gala. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.